In this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 18, aka Level Memories. If that sounds cool, stick around. And if it doesn't, well then you're kind of goofy. Alright, let's get into it. So Backrooms Level 18 is classified as a Class 1 difficulty, and is a safish overall level if you do it right. The level looks different to every person who gets to it. Now even though it looks different, it's still the same theme to everybody because it typically looks like a memory or a set of memories from their life, typically from ages 2 to 5. But the most common description is that it looks like a daycare or a preschool or a babysitter's house or an old bed or a playground, you know, just kid stuff. And if you don't have any specific memories of those kind of things, then the level itself will just be a blank void which is kind of sad. Throughout the level, there are always numerous voices that are whispering. There's no body specifically making these voices, but you can hear them in your head. They can whisper anything, but the main thing they normally whisper are your biggest regrets or your biggest mistake. No one knows how a random backrooms level can know what your biggest mistake or your biggest regret is, but apparently they know everything about you. And on top of this, the level can also resurface memories that you literally had forgotten about or had pushed out of your mind, like a childhood pet or something like that. Now obviously, this can mess up someone's mind if they're hearing voices about their biggest regret in life, so just do your best to ignore that whispering, and if you do that, then you're gonna have a pretty fun time reliving your old childhood memories. On the other side of that coin, the level is apparently addictive to some wanderers, and they choose to spend all of their time here which technically can work since there's food and stuff in your memories. But honestly, I, I can't say that I blame them for wanting to stay here and live in their childhood memories forever instead of going back out to the back rooms because it's safer here and it's nostalgic. There's only one entity on the level and it's a plush sentient sapient dinosaur that if you find it, it'll lead you to food and water, but it's pretty rare to come across. The one outpost here is called The Children, and it's a group made up of around 20 to 25 people, and the people who are in the group are the ones that stay here forever. Even though each person sees a different memory, they can all still see each other, which is pretty nice. To enter at this weird core level, well, there's no concrete way yet. The only way that might work is if you get a random resurgence or a random recollection of memories from your childhood while being on any other level in the back rooms. So if you're feeling really nostalgic, you might get sent here. To leave this level, you can find that plush dino and they'll take you to an exit. Or you can just walk through wherever you came from or do again whatever you did to get here since no one knows exactly how to do that. I gotta say, this level's pretty creepy but wholesome at the same time since it just replays old childhood memories. It's depressing, but at the same time, it's not. I don't know. I feel like I'd visit this level, not gonna lie. But you know what's not depressing or weird? Backroom's pants. I mean, it's probably the least depressing thing out there, right? And I'm gonna buy them at 500,000 subscribers. So if you wanna be a part of that, make sure to drop a sub. And while you're down there, go check out my second channel. It's lit over there. I stream, I upload. I mean, it's, it's more of me. If you like me, you're gonna like that channel. So thank you for watching, supporting Brugly Summer Spectacular. Make sure to tune in for next video, which will be over Backrooms Level 19. And that's when I'll see you next. Peace.